Hey everybody, Lowell Niles here at Sunward Studios to talk to you today about the NeoCube, also known as the Buckyball, NanoDot, NanoCube, or the Zen, Zen Magnet. Magnet. The NeoCube typically comes in a tin like this one, and when you open it up, you'll see that in this case I have the 216 ball magnet cube, and they typically give you a few extras. If you want to maintain the cube shape, when you get it out of the tin, you're just going to want to pop it like this and you'll see the cube stays cubical. But if you were like me, if you just try to grab it and pull it out, you'll find that the cube shape is very easy to corrupt and you'll probably spend the next three years figuring out how to make a cube again, unless you watch this tutorial. If you've messed up the cube and you want to make it into a cube again, the first thing you're going to want to do is make one long chain of balls. I should mention it's a good idea to wash your hands before you use this because you're going to want to keep it clean. This is the 216 ball Neo Cube, so I'm going to make a bunch of little circles of 12 balls each. These are each 12 balls. And you just keep wrapping it, zigzagging in the opposite direction each time. You go forward once, then back. Forward. And back and you're just forming one long tube here 12 balls around I should also mention you don't want to get this near any of your electronic devices computers iPhones and whatnot because it tends to erase magnetic drives now when we have this tube 12 balls around you break it into three six ball segments so this is six six circles high and I'm just gonna fold these two over so they lay on top of one another and form this figure eight and then we simply squash them together and this might take a little practice be patient you'll eventually get it right then you stack this right on top of those two right on the middle two and squash that down and we've got the cube again. So what do we do from here? One of the first things people do is learn to split the cube. It's a fun little trick which I do by finding the weak point in the cube, then just kind of digging three fingers in it, applying equal pressure on both sides and opening it like a clamshell. If you find yourself having a hard time splitting the cube, Like it won't give and it's gonna collapse again. This takes a little practice. If you find yourself having a difficult time splitting it, try using a old CD or something thin and you could just chop it right down the middle. It's kind of fun to explore. You can keep chopping it into smaller and smaller cubes, rectangles boxes and once it's been split it kind of weakens it and makes it easy to split again so I'm gonna make this little rectangular box here and from here I like to just jam my thumb right down the middle and it forms this kind of set of concentric rounded rectangles from here I'm gonna peel this off and try to form one long three ball wide chain. It takes a little bit of time and practice, but it makes you really good with your hands. Sometimes have to break it off into separate segments and then stick them back together again later. The end can be messed up. You can see these ends don't like each other, so just flip it around and there you go. Here's a nice ring. You can make all kinds of jewelry with this. But I'm just gonna make one long three ball wide chain. 
Those ends don't like each other. These ends do. From here we can make a kind of choker or small necklace or whatever. Peel this off. Back to our one ball chain. Stick them right back together. The three ball chain is easy to form back into a cube, but I'm gonna show you some other shapes first. Side by side, I'm just gonna stick that and peel this end open. So we have one six ball wide chain. And this is like a nice bracelet or something. You can peel these off and again, have a one ball chain. From here, you can also make all kinds of interesting three dimensional shapes like this little boat or if we fold it this way, we'll have a kind of pyramid, little box. We can open up one end and have a little door or just keep going and I'm going to break this into two halves. Now I've got two three ball wide bracelets and I'm just going to split these open. Realign these a little bit better. And again, end up with the three ball wide chain. From here, let me show you how easy it is to go back to the cube. You just stick these two sides together, split the other end down the middle. So you have a six ball wide chain or strip. And then you just fold it over six balls at a time. Again, I'm working with a 216 ball Neo cube. So my cube is six by six by six. If you have a different number of balls, you're gonna have to do your own calculations. So there we have it, the cube. So there's a lot of fun things you could do with a Neo cube. You can race to see who can make the cube the fastest or come up with all kinds of new shapes. You can even use these little magnets as fake piercings. Ah! I don't recommend swallowing this or getting it near your pets or children or anyone who might swallow it because it could be a very painful or even deadly mistake. And I do recommend washing your hands before you use it because any dirt or grease on your hands is going to end up on the Neocube and it's going to be greasy and filthy after a while for the same reason you don't want to drop it on the floor because it attracts all kinds of magnetic dust and particles. So. If you get it really dirty after a while, instead of a Neo Cube, you're going to have a big magnetic ball of filth. So go ahead and get one. Be patient with it and have fun. Yeah.